My name is Liz Darlow. I'm a professional artist from Blackpool in Lancashire in the United Kingdom. I was trained as a technical and scientific illustrator at Palatine College in Blackpool and I um, got my degree early 80s. Um, I wrote many letters to get jobs. They all came about the same. You need five years experience. I also played the piano so I became a rock star for a short, short time in my career. Um, on returning to the UK, I began to uh, experiment with art and paint and um, it sort of really developed from there. As a trained technical and scientific illustrator, I was uh, trained to paint things photorealistically, so it was very detailed work. Uh, sometimes we'd use a single hair on a brush to, to paint detail, microscopic detail, the, the reflection in a spider's eye perhaps. Um, one year somebody bought me some uh, of these wonderful things, pastels, and it sort of changed my life overnight really. Uh, I went from doing paintings that took 150 hours to 20 minutes and uh, the, the results were quite amazing. But I was very lucky, I say, because I was introduced to some of the finest pastels and the finest papers, as I, uh, as I believe now, uh, I say I was very lucky. Um, so that was my, my journey really into, uh, into pastels and it was quite, uh, quite enlightening. Over the years uh, things have changed, one because of my introduction to pastel, but the way I approach things now is completely different. As I say I used to copy things, now it's, I'm looking for three things, light, energy and movement. The less of a subject I have in my paintings, the more I can concentrate on those fantastic elements, which I believe are really good uh, in art. It makes, that's what makes things special for me. So I'm not concentrating on detail, I'm looking for movement, energy, everything that's to me is key. My sort of style of painting and my interest in art is very weather-based. So you find a lot of skies, um, uh, and storms and things that really inspire me to paint. Um, weather's one of the key things. This is um, one of my favourite paintings. This is Broom Castle in Cumbria and um, the, the inspiration really came from this. Um, I spend a lot of time out in the snow in weather conditions when it's sort of adverse. Um, I'll go out in the middle of the night just to see the light basically and this one was really about that it just stopped snowing and the sun tried to break through the clouds and it sort of created this glow in the sky which lit up the edge of the castle which bounced back onto the snow and into the water and the whole thing was just quite amazing to see so I tried to capture it using Canson Mitant dark grey paper which is a warm feel to the paper underneath you can see the paper all over there I was actually introduced to Cancer Me Tent um, in my first experience with pastel so I've tried lots of other papers but I keep returning back to this paper because it just works so well for me it's um, it's got lovely textures to both sides of the paper so on one side you've got this lovely smooth feel to get all that sharp detail the other side's honeycombed um, orange peel texture which is again fantastic and it just works so beautiful on the paper. I used to think well being an artist was just you paint I do so many different things it's so exciting I go to all different parts of the world um, I get to meet people in, in all these fantastic places and it's, it's just very exciting I don't just um, teach I, um, I do live demonstrations, which is exciting. It's uh, in front of large audiences, which is, again, is a, is a great thrill. A bit of an adrenaline rush, I would say. Um, it's just really enjoyable to meet lots of people all the time and, and see the results from, um, from my teachings, which is, I find, very, very rewarding. It really is rewarding. So it's, it's not just what I thought it was. Um, if I could give somebody some advice when it's, it comes to painting, landscapes, keep your composition simple. Concentrate on the three main things, light, energy and movement. If you get any of those things, you'll have great success with painting. Thank you, Liv. You're welcome.